One of the main reasons I'm making good money playing roulette is that I do not let myself into the high progressions. I do not use high levels of martingale or any other negative progression systems. And that approach keeps me winning money, not destroying my bankroll. In this video, I will show you why is martingale system the most dangerous progression for your balance and why you should not play it unless you know how and when. If you want to play progressions, I'll show you the best entry points so you don't end up with zero in your balance. Before I get into this video, if you didn't do it yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you will keep me motivated to bring you more observations and findings about this beautiful yet sometimes very cruel game of roulette. Let's look at Martingale system. Yes, it is a system, not strategy. There is a significant difference between system and strategy. It is very important for every roulette player to know the difference. System is a fixed progression based on certain method that is unable to modify to the dynamic conditions of the roulette table. And strategy, on the other hand, is a calculated course of action to overcome a problem created by constantly changing system. Strategy is using its flexibility to adopt changing table conditions in real time. And that is so important, in real time. You don't just pick up the system and start playing it. You must establish a strategy how and when you are going to use and play the system. If you log into your online account and start martingaling red or black or even or odd or whatever, you win couple and then you double up after after loss and you lose and then you double up again and you lose and double up again and then the bankroll is gone. Martingale is very dangerous progression and casinos actually love it because if you don't know when to start playing it, you are on your way to lose your money. Remember, if you let yourself into the high level of Martingale, you're basically risking lots of money to earn very little. You're just fighting to get your money back. That's a horrible way to play roulette. I'll show you how to navigate the table limits in just a minute. But for now, I always insist on observing the wheel, watching it and see what is going on. What is trending or not? What's hot, what's cold? Unlike in the real land-based casinos, in online casino, you can see all the statistics and that is amazing advantage, which not many players use. Before you start placing your bets, open statistics and watch what's going on. Remember, there are always going to be streaks and trends going on. They are hard to spot and you have to train your eye for it. Most of the time before the trend is spotted, it's already too late to capitalize on it. But remember, you are playing against the computer and at the end of the day, everything will always even out. No statistic will run up to 85, 90%. There are streaks going up to 64, 68, 72%. And those are the levels where it will slowly start evening out. So when is the best time to start Martingale progression? Let's look at the colors, for example. In the long cycles, the colors go through the stages from chops through two to three in a row to longer streaks. And that's what you're looking for if your strategy is to play negative progression. You're looking for entry point where long streak of one color has passed, has been exhausted. And then you are on the best way to play your system on the opposite bets. If your strategy is to play positive progression, then what you're looking for is a chop. That's when you have to be patient and wait for the percentages go uneven and one starts to be dominant. After the chop, you will see doubles, triples, and one color will start being dominant. It may take two, three dealers. That's where you will be successful with the progression. Watch the odds and evens, lows and highs, 
and also dozens and columns. By being patient and watching the statistics, you will find out these cycles are repeating and you will find the entry points where it'll be much easier to pick which system, which progression to play. Now the table limits. For example, here you have three tables and you can see with its maximum, you can actually go only four levels before hitting the limit. If that's the case, you have to be ready to quickly change the table before the next spin. That's one way how to avoid being stopped by the table limit. Or before you play, make sure to see what the table limit is. Calculate how many levels you can go up to and play accordingly. Don't just start betting on and martingaling. There are tables with different limits and with more available levels for up betting, like here. All of this you must include in your strategy before you start playing. Don't just log in and start throwing money on the table. That is the sure way of losing it to any progression. If you look into the description below this video, I included a link with more details on the specific progressions and systems. So make sure to check them out. Next time, when you log into your online casino account, watch the wheel for a while, watch the statistics and see how they develop and change. You will find the better way of entering the session with higher chance for success with your system. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite progression to play and hit the like button if you play progressions. I will see you on the next one.